Hey, good morning, everybody. Just wanted to make a video uh, to talk about this uh, new wireless interface control remote by Miller. Uh, this is for the engine drives. Um, be mounted on the back of a truck or anything like that. <clears throat> so, this video is really to explain what this remote does and why this remote is no good to me. Okay. Now, I purchased the Miller 400 Pro, the Kubota engine diesel. Okay, mounted on the back of my truck. This remote came with the machine, okay, uh, sh straight from the uh, the supplier. I didn't buy directly from Miller, <clears throat> but this remote you're looking at right here is my second remote from Miller. Okay, the first remote I had worked fine for about. I don't know, two months, okay? Um, and one day I go to use it <clears throat> and it doesn't turn on and I can't get it to charge. So after messing with it for about an hour, I have to work, I have to weld. So now I'm stuck. I have no other remote with me, which my fault too, but... <clears throat> After talking to the supplier I got the machine from, obviously he's not going to have an answer because he's just interested in selling. So I called Miller directly and Miller directs me to their, um, basically their IT department, their technical services. The guy that is in technical services, um, I can tell you right now, he's not much help at all. And uh, he, he really didn't want to be bothered, you know. Um, that's pretty bad for you, Miller. You know, you, you, you got a you got a guy in technical services that, you know, it, it doesn't really want to be involved with helping people. You know, the only, <laughs> you know, and, and then he wants to direct you to another IT guy that I guess knows more than him. You know, which he has helped, okay? <clears throat> but now I'm a little pissed off because now this is my warranty remote. Mind you, that I've only had this remote for, I don't know, about a week, okay? And now I'm furious because this remote had stopped working as well. Out of nowhere, get out of the truck, ready to do a project on the job site. The remote freezes up, can't get it to uh, unfreeze, can't get it to turn off, anything like that. So now I'm stuck, now I can't work, okay? That looks bad on me. Um, called Miller again, trying to keep my cool, okay? So I tell him, the remote froze up onto one screen. I can't get it to turn off reset itself or anything. They said, well, it should turn off when you uh, hit the yellow button. I said, I understand that, but it's frozen. The whole remote is frozen. <clears throat> so, so far, I really haven't gotten an answer to why this happened. And I understand these remotes are fairly new and not a lot of people out there have gotten into the new system here with the, the Miller engine drives. But I'm going to tell you the good and the bad of this, okay? The, the good part first is it's very hard to give up this remote. It's a great remote for what it can do, okay? Being that you can turn your machine off and on directly from this remote, is a great feature you know obviously changing your heat settings as well as your dig you know our control um, and also seeing where your fuel is uh, changing your uh, your stick settings or whatever 
you know, you weld on. <clears throat> That's the good part about it. Okay. And on to what I don't like, and it's really a problem, is for the people that haven't had any major issues with the remotes yet, I can guarantee you everybody that has this remote right now will agree with me when I say the battery is absolutely horrible. And Miller will tell you, turn down your contrast and you'll get a better battery life. I said, okay. I said, we'll try it. I said, but it doesn't really help you when you're in uh, <laughs> low light situations, you know, maybe you're out there at night or something like that. And, you know, you got to change your heat, you know, while you're looking through your helmet. Um, that to me is, uh, is ridiculous. You know, it could have done way better on the battery. You know, I'll be honest with you, my cell phone can last longer than that. And I do a lot more with my cell phone. And I can use this in one day. And uh, the few guys that I know on my jobs that have these machines with this remote all say the same thing. They can weld on a job site for about three hours until the remote is nearly dead. And three hours is is not long at all. That's not even halfway through a normal work day. <clears throat> so that's the big issue there. Um, but now arguing with Miller on why a brand new warrantied out remote is also faulty is a huge, huge issue to me. Um, and they sort of just pass on the blame and they don't really know where the issues are with these remotes. And I can tell you right now, I think the issue is pretty obvious. It's a poorly built remote, you know, it's, it's, it's cheap, you know, and that's not good for welders that are working every day welding six, seven, eight, ten hours a day, whatever you're welding. Um, and when you don't have a reliable remote, that creates issues with your job. I can tell you that right now. And it's, it, it's frustrating, really, because I'm at the point where I don't know what to do. You know, I'm trying to reason with these people, and uh, I, I I get little little answers, you know. And another ridiculous part is I have to I have to physically drive, you know, a good you know forty fifty miles out of my way to go to a local welding supply store that deals with the warranty just so they can say yep yeah, it's not working we'll write you up for a warranty repair or a replacement and you can come pick it up when uh, we receive it they won't directly ship you a new remote to your house because so I'm told they're afraid that they won't receive the old remote back and I, for one, don't have an issue with sending the old remote back. Okay, so that that's that's another big thing to me is you know having to drive out of my way twice. You know, first to drop it off and listen to the guys at the welding supply store say, "Yep, it doesn't work. I'll write you up," and then wait a few days to get the remote in. <clears throat> And then work around my work schedule to go and get this remote after not welding for a few days. And then pick it up again. And then you have the same issue. Okay. So, for everybody out there that's either thinking about getting a new machine that's going to spend between, you know, fifteen dollars to $18,000 on a new machine... 
I want to caution you with these remotes, okay? Um, you know, definitely listen to the experience of other welders and, uh, you know, just, just keep it all in mind. Um, my experience so far has just been horrible. So that's all I have to say. You know, I would not recommend this remote for anybody that's, you know, welding all day long. Um, it's a shame that, uh, you have to consider a wired remote considering <laughs> this is supposed to be wireless and uh, more convenient, which it is, but you know, now you're to the point where you have to have a wired one on standby in case a junky wireless one like this one doesn't work for you. Okay, well I hope it all helped everybody out and thanks for watching.